I've heard from so many people that they can't stand the layout of the Photos app in iOS 18. Are you overwhelmed by the confusing new design? In this video, I'll show you how to hide sections for a less confusing experience. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Apple radically changed the Photos app in iOS 18. It no longer has tabs along the bottom. Everything is now on a single screen. You can scroll up and down to see sections like recent days, people and pets, memories, and albums. You can also swipe left or right under a section to see more of that section. The panes of different sizes can make it confusing. To make the app work better for your specific needs, you can hide sections that don't really matter to you. I almost never use trips, memories, shared album, and wallpaper suggestions. In iOS 18, I can hide them from appearing in my Photos app to make it less cluttered. Now I don't have to swipe as much and can quickly get to the sections that are more important to me. So if you don't fancy the new Photos app design, you can use these tips to customize it and turn it into something that works for you. To hide sections in the Photos app, you'll want to locate the Photos app on your iPhone or on your iPad running iOS 18 or newer, tap to open the Photos app. Now you'll want to scroll to the very bottom of the screen where you see Customize and Reorder. Go ahead and tap on that. And now you'll see you have a bunch of uh, categories that are checked off. Here you can uncheck any category you don't want to see. So if I don't want to see memories, or let's just say I don't want to see uh, pinned collections or utilities, you can uncheck as many as you want. And then when you're finished, you want to tap the X in the upper right corner, and that saves your changes and returns you to the Photos app. If you change your mind, you'll need to go back in and repeat the process. So if I want to change anything, I can come back into the customize and reorder section and I can remove or add any of the check marks back as I need to. So that's how to customize and reorder your sections. I'll tap the X to save it and those things have been removed but I still have all of the other sections that I want to see. My favorite new feature in the Photos app is the ability to reset the app if you made too many changes and want to start over. So to do that, again, you'll be inside of the Photos app, come down to the very bottom, scroll to the bottom, tap on Customize and Reorder, and in the upper left corner, you'll see a reset button. I'll tap on reset. You'll see that all of the check marks come back and they'll be placed in the order, the sections that Apple has already suggested. And once I'm finished, I'll tap on the X and now all of my sections are back to their default position. This will not delete your actual photos or videos. If you want to reorder the sections in the Photos app, maybe there's a category that you use less but still want it to be available, you can move it to the bottom of the Photos app so it's out of eyesight but still accessible with a swipe. So we're still inside the Photos app. I'm going to tap on Customize and Reorder and you'll see these handlebars along the side screen. If I take and grab a handlebar and just push and hold on it, I can drag it down to the bottom and drop it in so I can move any of these sections that I don't want to see down to the bottom 
go ahead and tap on the X in the upper right corner to save it. And now you'll see that Media Types Recent Days was moved to the bottom section of the Photos app. So it's not in my immediate view when I open the Photos app. If you're on an iPad, you can also place sections side by side. So I have it open the Photos app on my iPad, and if I tap Customize and Reorder at the bottom, you'll, you're going to see that the layout is a little bit different. And so you can grab the handlebars and drag them where you want them to be. And so you can kind of move these around to the sections, you know, where you want to place them so they can be side by side and you can arrange them in any order that you want. You can also pin important categories in the Photos app. I take a lot of screenshots that I use for my tutorials and the screenshot category is listed under media types. So let me locate media types first. Here's media types. If I come into that section, you'll see that screenshots is a part of that section, but I want to pin that section so that I see it at the top. And so to do that, you'll see here pinned collections. I'm going to tap on modify. You'll see screenshots listed among many other things. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the plus sign next to screenshots. And now I'll drag screenshots to the top. I'll tap on the X to save that. And now when I come to that pinned collection, you'll see that screenshots is the very first category in the pinned collection. So let's come back into this modify area in the pinned collections because there are a lot of categories that you can pin and then you can move them around in the pinned collections. You can even tap on this plus button at the bottom, pick an album that you want. And so I'm just going to choose kittens. You'll see that it's been added to the pinned collection. And now I can move it to any area of the pinned collection I want to so that I'm seeing the photos that are important to me. I hope you found this video helpful and you feel more confident navigating the new Photos app in iOS 18. Remember, customizing the app can make a huge difference in simplifying your experience, especially if the new design feels overwhelming. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a friend who might also be struggling with the changes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials to make your Apple devices easier to use. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.